Throughout the halls of our ABC 6 News station, we have literal signs telling people how to wash their hands and why it's important to practice social distancing amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, last year, we introduced you to the Herber family. Their young son, Nathan, was diagnosed with cancer. While it turned their life upside down and they had to learn a new normal, the COVID-19 pandemic has created much of the same for them. Try to get up. Try to get my blood. It was a day filled with video games. Yeah, you can get one. I'll save your life. A perfect fall day in 2019 when our ABC6 News crew could come and talk with five-year-old Nathan Herber. Yeah! and his family about his battle with T-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Fast forward to today, and this is the safest way for us to speak with the Herber family. I just wish people understood that we weren't just being paranoid, we weren't being helicopter parents. Every virus is life-threatening. Unfortunately, we saw that firsthand um, last February with RSV, um, where we almost lost Nathan. Um, he went into respiratory failure and ARDS, some of the scary things that the COVID virus were causing. We experienced that with RSV, so we're always triple wiping things down, washing our hands, vaccinating, so it hasn't changed life too much for us. For the rest of the nation, the last few weeks have been hard for many to adjust to. I actually had a friend call me this week, and she said, you know, our family's having a really hard time being at home, it's a, they're a very, very active family with four kids, and she's like, and then it hit me, this is what you've been doing for a year and a half. It's, you know, human nature to want to be social, and it's really hard to accept the fact that in order to keep someone alive, um, you really can't be around other people. Nathan still undergoes cancer treatments. Just this week, Andy posted this photo of Nathan to his Facebook page. It says, day 57, chemo escalation. To those social distancing to protect the vulnerable, thank you. And thankfully, no changes are being made to Nathan's treatments at Mayo Clinic during this time. If you still question the severity of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Herber family encourages you to visit Nathan's CaringBridge site to see firsthand how a virus can impact someone as vulnerable as their five-year-old son. We have a link to that on KAALTV.com.